Hello, today I'm going to do an arterial blood ga gas sample. So I've got my pre-prepared tray spread up, ready set up. I've got my patient's arm, I've got some alcohol gel. So I'm going to wash my hands first with the alcohol gel and then palpate for the radial artery. So usually I would palpate both arms and also do an Allen's test to ensure good circulation. So I'm happy with the pulse that I've got here, so I'll move on to my equipment. So I'm going to wash my hands again with the alcohol gel and then put my sterile gloves on. Okay, so I've got my gloves on. I've got some chloroprep disinfectant for the patient's skin, which I'll apply now. Okay. And then leave that to dry. So the next piece of equipment is our gas syringe. So it's a pre um, self-filling heparinized needle and syringe. Just remove the cap and then holding the syringe like a pen with the bevel up, just repalpate for my pulse. And then when I'm happy with my position, I'm going to insert the needle at a 45 degree angle to go just underneath where I'm feeling that pulse. and then we can see that the needle is self-filling now. So once there's an adequate amount of blood in the syringe, withdraw the needle, placing some gauze on top. And putting, some, putting pressure on that area. You can ask the patient as well to hold that down. So we've Put the cap over the needle and then remove the whole needle, placing it into the sharp spin. And then we can put this cap on top of the needle and using this we can expel any air into that cap. So you'll need to now run this gas using the point of care testing machines. Um, so when you go to those machines, you need to have two pieces of information with you. One is the patient details, and the second is how much oxygen they're on, so the FiO2, and in order to run that gas.